My group does research to investigate the way materials perform in nuclear environments. And the objective here is to both um, develop the ability to predict how long materials will, will survive in that environment before they need to be replaced, and also very uh, strongly uh, tied to the economics of uh, nuclear power as well as a number of energy technologies. I like to take a paper clip. If you bend a paper clip, that paper clip is pretty easy to bend at first, right? And you can bend it, but as you bend it back and forth, it gets stronger and stronger and harder and harder to bend. And eventually that thing breaks. My research is really trying to understand at a level that is so microscopic you can't see it through an optical microscope. What caused that paper clip to get stronger and stronger and ultimately break? And that's what my research is trying to do, not with a paper clip, but with an engineering material. The, the place that, that we play a key role is that when there are safety critical components, like the pressure vessel, and if the pressure vessel were to break um, and you dropped half of the vessel, then you would drop the core. It'd be the classic China syndrome um, accident scenario. Our research is trying to make sure that we know before and can predict when an accident like that would happen so that we make sure that we never operate the plants to there. So in my research, I'm concerned with how materials respond to extreme environments and the combination of UT and Oak Ridge National Lab and the Governor's Chair Program puts me in an environment where there's a very strong nuclear engineering program. You've got an up-and-coming university with an administration that supports very strongly the drive to turn the University of Tennessee into a top 25 research university and a national lab that is renowned for its expertise in material science. Add on top of that what a fabulous place Eastern Tennessee is to live and it, for me, was a no-brainer.